Hello lovely Let Go Flow Collective. Welcome to your pick a card reading. Today you can choose from pile number one with the flat shale, pile number two with the sand dollar and pile number three with the snail shell. Tune in into your intuition, take your time and I'll see you in your reading. Lovely pile number one, hello, welcome to your reading. Hope you're doing beautifully well wherever you are on this planet Earth. It's been a ride so far, 2024, wasn't it? Well, I feel like something is finally coming to an end, like a very tough cycle. And yeah, I'm, this is a reading that is timeless but nevertheless i am recording this reading on the 8th of april 2024 high vibrational energy in the solar eclipse and we just want to tune in into the collective's energy and i want to yeah ask spirit guides to protect us and guide us to this reading to this collective reading you felt drawn to this flat shell and yeah, it reminds me of high and low tides and taking time to create this beautiful piece of art in the ocean. But let's see, I want to directly tune in to the collective's energy with the 54 Everyday Spirit Guide cards. Passion, yes absolutely this is the energy where we get back to our creativity our passion our authentic self heart's desire this is what is activating right now fall in love let the fire inspire allow passion to guide you with the number 23 this can be a significant number or maybe also number five could be a significant number in your life, a lucky number or your name number or birthdays number, whatever. It is a very passionate time coming towards you and I want to directly tune in into the Alistair Crowley Tarot for some more information for the collective in pile number one. So. You see this I put this up here like this can you hear me put this microphone a little bit closer voila yes powerful energy coming through the authentic self coming through as well truth your true authentic self speaking your truth passionately so i feel this collective fear pal number one you have something major to say it's about talking here and i feel like you are claiming your divinity your royalty and yeah you have a great mission here to bring in clarity, bring in authenticity, bring in the truth and bring in the light in this room here. Yeah, absolutely. Emperor energy. You are in your very powerful, empowered emperor energy. And this is not male, female, gender specific. This is energetic. And in the energy is the emperor is the one he knows what he wants he knows his worth he's a leader he's going for it and he's fiery he also reminds me to the passion and the passion card maybe it, it will also show up here is also a red fiery card so you definitely standing your ground going for it and yeah this is yeah again we have a lot of fire 
with the three of wands you've been creating this you've been manifesting this and the ships are coming in everything is coming in it's like the cycle has closed for you and the new total new cycle full of energies like like an explosion like a supernova explosion it feels like is uh, here for you and you've been waiting for this moment to come in your life and finally dear pile number one believe it or not it is here the stars and the planets and everything is aligning with your divine purpose six of pentacles everything is coming full circle one two three four five six and it is creating again a supernova and it's gonna be super successful because you are aligned with your divine timeline this is your soul's purpose and now the divine timing says you are ready we are ready it's go time now i got goosebumps all over and this is a confirmation that everything is happening as it should and need to be divinely time coming out of the eight of cups the eight of cups was like the slow and heavy I don't know will it ever happen energy it's like your patience did pay off dear pa not passion your patience did pay off dear pal number one slowly but steady it was it's, it might be years you've been or months you've been a little bit blocked and stagnant and sometimes this was also uh, not a, yeah, a challenge, a, a test for you. How patient and how trustworthy are you that you get what you truly want and deserve and your trust um, got stronger and stronger in especially the last few weeks and now we are here. Princess of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of of wands and the two of wands yeah absolutely it's ending now this very heavy energy not breaking through is ending with this moment here or it probably already has ended for you dear pile number one and the five of wands means before you had the fire and the passion connected with the princess of swords it is like you had the passion but something was blocking you all the time you couldn't pursue your biggest wishes and dreams and hearts desires and your soul path and passion because there was a reason you shouldn't do it because now the planetary alignments are perfect for it but it was um, preparing you to become the emperor energy and now you truly integrated every single lesson and you got so strong with it that you are becoming or did become this very very powerful soulful leader yes again these cards they speak normally differently to me sometimes the two of ones say yes i make a decision powerfully but also here i see the fire is blocked the fire is blocked the fire is blocked but now you're coming into a very very powerful passionate truth of yours a new part because the cycle is definitely ending it's like the puzzle pieces from all the lessons you did go through and you didn't know how um you put the puzzle pieces together you just like have the last puzzle piece in your hand and you just put it together and everything makes total sense for you and everything is opening up in the most beautiful 
way for you and this is going to give you this passion this creativity this go for it let's do it and i have the energy to do it and i'm motivated to do it and i just gonna do it there is no no i don't accept no anymore there's only yes 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 that's the energy coming in it's really slow moving forward it's like I don't think that the shell, shells or how do you, muscles, is it muscles or is muscles like the strength? I don't know, but these animals, they don't really move fast and they don't grow fast neither. And they get so pretty and beautiful and sparkly and with all this pearly color, they're so pretty and beautiful and strong. Like, nothing can break a shell you know it's the same with your belief your trust in the divine nothing can break your trust in yourself and the co-creation with the divine anymore and this is now your new legacy you activating your royalty dna and standing this ground to truly embrace to be the leader of your own destiny doesn't matter what you're doing in your life it belongs to you and you're following your heart's desires and your soul path and your passion Ooh, let me know what you do with some of you you are writers some of you you're singers or some of you are um, it specialists i don't know but definitely you going your personal soul path your authentic destiny and way and this is going to bring you the most powerful beautiful and also prosperous outcome in your life and i'm seeing right now this confirmation here of the affirmation cards abundance is my birthright and truly truly sure that major abundance is coming into your life if not already so i allow myself to feel abandoned i always have more than enough please dear wisdom of the oracle tarot give us some information and support for this new powerful passionate authentic pure energy aligning with pile number one, mending. Yes, we need mending on this planet Earth and you definitely are a mender, a leader in mending. You are a light worker, dear pile number one, and your mission in whatever you do is to mend to heal and inspire others to do so because you did go through your healing already and now becoming this powerful leader here you will inspire automatically like your energy is going to be filled by the universe by your spirit guides by all these light beings and you're gonna reflect the energy and inspiration of light love and healing into this world and this is your mission here and you love doing it this is because you are this person because you follow your heart and you love doing it you're bringing so much light and healing into this planet earth is so much needed right now and there are more and more people entering this energy field of authentic pure alignment with the soul's blueprint and divine soul of path again we want archangel metadrons energy in this reading so 
The last two months, Archangel Metatron always wanted to jump into these readings and the collective readings let go flow. So we will not deny that. Wow. We have the Divine Feminine. For some of you in here, this is definitely a confirmation of the divine feminine <laughs> and you know that you are the divine feminine for others the divine feminine's energy is a highly um, vibrational light being energy that is um, i can say teach as well or inspire other people for like the divine motherly feminine self-love for some of you definitely there is also a twin flame energy here for some you are attracting your divine feminine for some you are the divine feminine and for some of you you are anchoring this energy into this mother earth with the holy divine energy anchoring this light of true love and compassion into this throne yes it's the compassion probably definitely one of the main missions here in this reading is to spread compassion, love, harmony, peace and light. Beautiful energy here. So don't worry, everything is changing now. It's all came in in divine timing the pile number one and everything is coming together if you're waiting for somebody entering your life to give you a hand or support it's entering in your life for some of you i see there is major teamwork as well you're not doing this on your own and yeah this is as it is a collective reading this Take it as it resonates. I see a lot of people and even if you're doing things alone in your path, in your soul's path, you have plenty of people or a whole collective that you are reaching and inspiring them. I am growth. I allow myself to expand. I open up my horizon is an affirmation your spirit guides want to give you because growth is here now and it's coming in fast because you're used to snail um, speed the very very slow growth and spirit guides want to let you know that the transformation is over the transformation phase has been a very very slow motion phase because there were so many major adjustments in the energy level to vibrate higher it had to be slow it couldn't go faster and now they want to say and let you know this is the time where everything is going to speed up and you're our growth so the expansion is going to be maybe a little bit overwhelming because so many good things are entering your life and so many ports are opening and we also have the number seven that is very significant in your life we have it uh, here and we have it here so seven seven is a lucky number and yeah I don't want to really say that luck is in your life right now because uh, it has to do with your soul path and divine timing it might feel like luck definitely because so many good things come into your life but um, definitely you been creating this and co-created it with the universe and also here again five and two seven is a number that you might see 
frequently right now during your growth season. Beautiful energies, dear pile number one. I uh, just want to give you a support for this energy. What a many mission complete. Didn't we say that? New is coming. And I don't know if I want to bring them in. They were like just upside down. I think I leave them aside because I think this is enough. Mission complete and new is coming. So what we just said, we have a confirmation here. So congratulations, your spirit guides, they're like really, really happy for you. They congratulate you. And um, uh, if you are in nature and if you uh, see the new leaves on the trees and the, the wind is going through and they are just like waving at you, your spirit guides are really like waving and cheering at you and clapping their hands. They're really, really, very, very proud of you. So all this ending new is coming, new, a cycle has ended, welcome the new change is coming for good. I would say for the best. So thank you dear pal number one for going through this major awakening journey that you and also uh, the collective planet Earth is rising their vibrations. Thank you for being this light worker and thank you for being here thank you for love and trust and thank you for making this small channel grow by subscribing liking caring sharing and commenting see you soon bye bye hello lovely pile number two you felt drawn to this beautiful sand dollar i found this in the philippines I know, shouldn't be doing that, but I really wanted this to bring with me for the collective, also for all these readings. We are co-creating together and yeah, it's just like beautiful art, a piece of art in nature. It's a flower in a shell and yeah, the sand dollar, if it is long enough in the ocean, it's popping up like a ball. Isn't this magical? I just love nature so much. It's magic all over. You just want and need to acknowledge it. So I feel there is magic in this reading. And with the sand dollar, probably there is also abundance coming with it. So let's check the 54 Everyday Spirit Guide Cards message. No doubt. This is it. Go for it. Stop doubting. So there must be something in your mind you would like to do, but maybe you're not doing it. But let's see. Let's ask the dreamy moon tarot for some more information. It's a beautiful tarot deck, the dreamy moon tarot. And also here it says, abundance is my birthright, I evolve and grow. So maybe it has to do with the dollars here. Let's see. Thank you, dear Dreamy Moons, for the accurate messages and support. Power number two collective needs to know for this reading. One more, please. There we go. Thank you so much. Perfect like this, they say. Okay, the magician reversed, the ace of swords reversed, and the flower of life allows me to turn them around. Beautiful. Okay. Well, definitely, if you are in doubt, there is a major energy shift entering your life where you truly know what you want and you truly go and get it. You are manifesting a beautiful outcome here in your situation, dear pile number two. With the flower of life, I feel also that this is your destiny, whatever you are creating right now. 
it is a hard society and I feel there is a little resistance here and your spirit guides are telling you don't fear your divine power you might be very very powerful more powerful than you could ever imagine and your subconscious mind knows how powerful you are your conscious mind doesn't know how powerful you are and to really find this truth essence to follow your heart's desire and follow your truth and authentic self is the mission here so let me see i want to ask the do you see that like this yes no problem good i want to ask the alice crowley tarot for more information messages support what does pile number two need to know it wanted to pop out so let's put it aside there there we go okay bottom of the deck is the queen of wands the queen of wands she is a powerful queen. She knows what she wants. She knows who she is. She sits on a throne, on a fiery throne, and she's not afraid of her divine power. And she's not afraid to connect with her higher self and her spirit guides. She's a very powerful leader connected with the spirit realm so are you pile number two but let's see i want to know more i want to know more so we have the two of pentacles the six of swords the devil card the high priest nine of wands the hermit Three of Swords reversed, the Ian and the Prince of Wands. <clears throat> so, you definitely have something in your mind you, that is sacred to you. You have something in your mind that is very, very important for you and in your life and you are protecting it with your heart. It is so important to you that you sometimes doubt if it is really for you because it's like too good to be true sometimes and because of this energy of this might be too good to be true for me you don't allow it to enter your life even if you're a master manifester and even if you are in your queen of wands mode you are afraid of your own divine rights pile number three i feel that this wish this heart's desire it can be career wise it can be family friends wise it can be love wise take it as it resonates but there is something that you are afraid of to manifest because you sometimes believe it is it's coming out of ego your wish and because you have such a big heart and because you are an empath and a healer you believe that some things 
you rather don't take than taking it from an ego perspective. That's why the devil is here. But the devil is not here because this is an, egotis uh, an egoistic wish. The devil is here because of your fear that you believe this is an egotistic wish, dear pal number three. Because the cards say it's no doubt. This is it. Stop doubting. Because the doubt is connected to fear. And fear is our blockage of not fulfilling our heart's desires and not going for our highest good and not wanting the best for ourselves equals also that you are not putting your power at first your divine power your empowerment so you're making yourself small has to do with childhood wounds definitely and wounds that coming from past life have, are making you small and you're making yourself small and nobody else is making you small even if they're showing it from the outside world this is your own inner reflection of fear and doubt that you are not enough to truly live your heart's desires dear pal number three but the spirit guides want you to live your heart's desires. God wants you to live your highest power, your best life. That's why you're here, the pal number three. Spirit guide wants to let you know that you are carrying the key to unlock the portals and door of abundance and prosperity and love. You are the magician. You are the queen of wands. You are a highly, highly guided soul and being. A very, very ancient they say ancient so not they don't say all they say ancient and you've been through many many lifetimes where you were the alchemist already in this lifetime you've been holding back until now dear pal number three to create your paradise on earth the power of life is such an abundant card with the ace of crystals there is truth there is authenticity there is power in it and the magician it's just like you can create everything you want dear pal number three and this wish is not coming out of ego, it's coming from your heart. That's why it is still with you. It's not like an easy peasy wish, uh, I want an ice cream, something there. It is coming from your heart. It is cherished. And also, whatever you seek is seeking you. It belongs to you because it is seeking you and you're seeking it because it is seeking you I think you did go many times into the hermit mode to find your light again when you were in doubts and when you were in fear and any every time you're going back into this fear mode you automatically jump also into the hermit mode because you don't know why this wish is still lingering within you even if you think it is so egotistical this wish but it isn't dear pal number three 
it is coming from the heart they say it and I feel it and it's going to give you lots of happiness in your life at the same time you're getting tired of this wish because you've been wishing for it so many times and then dropped it so many times and were wishing for it again so many times this is what makes you tired it's not that you don't get it because it doesn't belong to you it's just that the belief that you are enough to get it was not enough because you were always dropping it again You're making a decision to move on and it's funny it was in the past it was making the decision to move on from the wish and drop it and then it was coming back again around the corner next day oh I still wish for it oh no this is not for me because it's why should I get this God doesn't want me to get this I rather wish for something more for the collective no this belongs to you that's why it's still here and it is not egotistical when you do see the devil card it wants to remind you that it is bounded with your deepest fears and to let go of the fears to be powerful to be the manifestation the magician to be enough to get what your heart's desires this is the lesson here and you carry the key within you and the key to move on from this fear is to overcome it by knowing that it does belong to you and you do deserve it 200 percent dear palma your truth And now you're moving on, definitely and finally, from the fears. And let's check the cards for that now. I want to know more from... Hmm. Who wants me to take the whispers of love? What is coming here? What is coming for power number three? Coming into her or his full empowerment look what is coming you it's gonna make you so happy you did make yourself so small dear pile number three by not allowing yourself to fulfill your heart's desires this is gonna change it's gonna be a game changer dear pile number three you're going to go for it. You're going to master this very, very hard lesson in your life of fear. And moving on, going through it. And you're going to manifest your heart's desires, your paradise on earth. True love. What confirmation is that? This love is a once in a lifetime love. Yes. It is your deepest heart's desire, dear pal number three. And you didn't want to go for it because the fear was so strong to allow your powerful, loving heart to shine bright again. And again, if it is love-wise, it makes sense anyway if it is job career wise this is also a true love inside you something you really want or friendship wise soulmates wise whatever but this belongs to you and they want to give you another card be in the present dream of the future when we dream everything is possible yes Dear pile number three, the magician and the dream card. And you know how to manifest. You are already a master manifester, dear pile number three. It is only about this 
specific, most beautiful, desirable dream of yours, that is your heart's desire, you didn't allow to flourish in this life. It is time for you to fully go for it because this belongs to you. This is no doubt and it is not an ego thing you are going through. It is a fear thing you're going through, dear panel number three. Get over your fear and every time when you catch yourself that you fall into a fearful position, take yourself out immediately by having your code words, your code songs, your code colors, whatever, and bring your focus back on the dream, on what you want by giving you the code word, a code animal, a code whatever, okay? Trick yourself out of fear here. I know sometimes you get into this energy of yes, this belongs to me, I want it. And at the other time it's just like no, I cannot. It's slipping out of your hand, that's why it's not manifesting. So staying in this manifestation power by truly 100% believing in it and letting it go, the wish and not drifting into fear. That's the goal here. You will manifest it, I see it. It's gonna bring you lots of happiness, dear panel number three, major happiness. <gasps> and the universe is working with you. That's why your dream is still here. They want you to make this wish fulfillment for you. They want you to have this desire of yours in your life, in this 3D world. They want it for you. Express love, act with love, show how loving you are, let go of ego and choose love. And I want to call the ego fear here today. So let go of fear and choose love and trust. Yes. As we did say just right now, wish for it, know that it comes and then let go. Surrender to it and trust. Don't worry, everything is unfolding perfectly. The universe is taking care of it. Nepal number three, I think this support from your spirit guides and this collective reading um, is helping you for the next chapter and yeah I send you much love and wishing you that you follow your heart's desires I know you have the power to overcome any kind of fears and yeah thank you for making this small channel grow by liking subscribing sharing and caring see you soon bye bye Lovely pile number three. Hello and welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here and making this collective reading to a very special one. I want to directly tune in into the 50 for every day spirit guide cards energies today. Fear. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. Fear comes up to be let go. So you're definitely coming out of a major, major cycle that has been reflecting your biggest fears. And fear is also connected with guilt and hate and doubt. I'm not being enough, I'm feeling left out in the cold. This is the main energy of all these downward spiraling energies. And interestingly enough, um, that never happened to me before, but I after pile number two, and I probably did say many times pile number three in pile number two's reading, so sorry for that if you are uh, coming from pile number two. 
and I actually s did stand up and said, so this is finished now, this um, collective pick a card and then I realized, oh, I actually have one reading left and pile number two had a lot to do with overcoming fear. So if you felt drawn to pile number two as well, um, definitely go and check this out because I always did say pile number three. So I guess and I believe the two readings are connected together. But let's tune in now on pile number three. What do we let go? The fears biggest fears so this is definitely also the time to end up this dark cycles this is a collective reading and a timeless reading but i do record this reading in a solar eclipse on the 8th of april 2024 major energies around and for me i feel in my collective major positive shifts getting out of biggest fears and following pursuing the heart's desires and creating paradise on earth so if you're resonating with that stay tuned let's see what are we shifting what are we doing thank you dreaming and terror for the energies don't you well i i believe there was a reason why i thought i'm finished with the reading because we also had the magician in pal number two and we had the sun card in pal number two so definitely check it out so you were coming to the conclusion that you deserve the best of the best in your life wheel of fortune wow could it get better the magician the sun and the wheel of fortune for you pal number three you deserve it because you've been working hard on it you've been working on your inner belief system you've been working on your karmic cycles you've been working on your self that you know that you are reserving of everything Thing that you desire on this planet earth and this fear was lingering a lot in your energy and you mastered it to let it go congratulations dear pile number three this is beautiful relieving freedom energy i feel here and i want to know more from the Alistair Crowley Terror, but definitely this is a major big shift here coming in for you. And again, it feels like the Wheel of Fortune, feels like luck, but you did make the work, the pal number three, and now it is the divine timing and the planets are aligning, the sun is shining in this solar eclipse in the most powerful way for you to transform the fierce energy you've been dissolving and working on it to become the sun yourself as the princess of wands bottom of the deck so definitely transforming and letting go freeing yourself of this energy of fear we have the passion card wow we have the ace of wands with the passion card so it's definitely freeing yourself from dense energy that were holding you back from your pure bliss passion creativity so you going for it creating your paradise on earth yes ten of pentacles i wanted to whistle but there's no whistle going wow beautiful feels like you've been making yourself 
so comfortable and small for other people that they feel comfortable and small and now you're bursting out of this pure passion your soul's timeline and alignment with your true authentic self and this is going to be like a volcano erupting feels like this major massive energy ball and energy just exploding wow the lovers take it as it resonates for you this can be love wise this can be career wise this can be family and friendship wise but definitely there are things coming together for the best for you you're creating truly and this is no joke you're creating your paradise on earth and you're going to prove people by simply being you don't have to show off but you're going to prove people that paradise is on earth nowhere else princess of pentacles six of cups in the alistair crowley tarot is enjoying and indulging and uh, yeah just celebrating life oh my god can it can it get better four of swords the universe card and two of wands wow to me the two of wands feels that something is coming together for good now doesn't feel like you have to make a decision because you did make the decision already to go for your dreams I believe you know what you want and you know what energies we're talking about it's not something new I know that you know where your biggest fear did lie within you and what you truly had to overcome to release this fear to finally create your true abundance and prosperity in this lifetime in this 3d material realm and it's going to be so effortless it's like no more fighting before you've been like manifesting with intention and also with ego so you manifested everything you have in your world in the duality and i feel now once you completely let go of this fear within you you are effortlessly co-creating with god and the universe and everything is coming in effortlessly for you dear pile number three that's crazy wow this is really such a relief i feel the energies are like opening up your heart and throat chakra you can also be your true authentic self and tell the truth your own divine truth whatever you are doing in your life um I feel before you were working for it, you were working for the money you were doing, what you probably did like to do, but now you are changing into a total new level where you are being simply passionate about your life. And because you're passionate about your life so much and living your true authentic self and your true being, everything is aligning abundantly with you and you attract the right people in your life and this could be love wise it could be your soulmate it could be um, your business partner it could be your manager whatever it's going to be paradise on earth for you dear pal number three this is masterclass and you did go through all the lessons and teachings and all the studies and you mastered the biggest fear 
release lessons and yeah congratulations this is not an easy task you are becoming true love unconditional love and because you're becoming it you are attracting it into your life wow sacred energy in here i, I am a little bit overwhelmed I always know what to say or listen to the guys. It just feels like I just want to be in this energy for a second because it is so peaceful and so sacred. And also here with the four. So it's just like you just want to be and breathe in and be in this energy because it's so empowering. It's so healing. Okay, pile number three, you're gonna feel different. It's like a U-turn. You, you're turning back to your true authentic core being. And you have never felt like this before, I guess, because this is a feeling not everybody can get and is allowed to feel like this in their lifetimes but this is pure bliss and freedom and peace and being in this state of infinity that's it you're gonna feel this state of pure love and infinity and you're gonna radiate it out in this world and this is going to banish all your fears and it's gonna turn around your whole life in the most beautiful magnificent way your power number three i never had a reading like this before i never felt these energies in a reading before it's slowing me even down i cannot even talk properly it's just like you're being in this infinity of light being getting out of the thinker getting out of the fear and moving into milk and honey wow yep confirmation cards here getting out of what if and why is and why me lovely you're coming into this energy here the milk and honey enjoying the life in purest blissful ways and with the rainbows just like after the heavy rainy days you come into the joyful lightful loving days wow dear pile number three this is beautiful energy i just want to also tune in to the energy of archangel metadrum what does pile number three want and need to know the collective with Archangel? Entzücken. How do you say Entzücken in English? To be delighted, I would say. Delighted. Look at these beautiful colors. Look at this energy. It includes the passion and the love as energy and the abundant energy as well it's just like so blissful and archangel metadrum just confirming the reading where you are entering into this portal of pure bliss coming into your life joy and just simply being like the elephant in the milk and the honey just enjoy how sweet life is and this one is leaving your life wow major changes they power number three beautiful changes power number three what an energy I'm wondering if you already feel this change in your life into this most 
positive paradise you're entering right now or I don't feel I, I believe you are really feeling the change because there is no indication that you're still in the fear but I know that you are a highly spiritual being and you've been working the way out of the deepest fear within you but this is a confirmation that you made it dear pal number three this is graduation party for you pure love wow goosebumps that's the energy of the highest frequency and the most powerful energy in the universe is love and this is how it did feel this reading yeah i, I I was like stunned and or I'm still stunned and I just like want to indulge in the energy and just shut up and just want to be here so if you just want to look at all these messages take a picture of it and just look at it because this is major this energy of true love unconditional love and you're gonna radiate it out in this world being a passionate messenger for light and love. Congratulations, dear pal number three. Thank you so, so much for doing the work to come into this beautiful, lightful, loving energy and energy being. Thank you for inspiring the world and thank you for making this collective reading so lightful and loving and so special thank you for making this small channel grow by liking subscribing sharing and caring and i see you so much love bye bye